Hi cozy friends, family, cozy gamers, how are we? So y'all seem to like the Switch games for the fall, so I thought I would do some for the PC. And when I say PC, I mean kind of computer in general. So all of these are available for Windows computers. Some are available for Mac, and then even some are available on Switch as well. But I have some that are so cozy for the fall and only available on PC, so they needed a home, and this list is the perfect place for that. So this is 10 cozy games for the fall on computer. The first is Lake, and Lake is the one that inspired this list, honestly. It's set in the 80s. It's about a woman who leaves her coding job behind to go deliver mail for two weeks in her father's mail delivery position while her parents are away on vacation. Convoluted, I know. But during this work break, she is delivering the mail in this small, beautiful, lovely town. So it's a kind of open world. You're driving this mail truck around as you wish, delivering letters, delivering packages and talking to the townspeople and learning their stories, learning kind of like this mystery of the town, a seedy underbelly, if you will. And there is a little bit of romance too, and a choice in that romance as well. It's not just like a mandatory romance that the story goes along with. So your choices do have effects in the game, which I think is so cool. I think it's the perfect fall game because it's every Hallmark movie trope wrapped into one. It's the leaving the corporate job for a small town. It's the romance. It's the ooh little mysteries of the town you know having to make choices at the end of it all it it touches all those fall feels that are needed so I've heard some mixed reviews on it because some people say it's both too short and kind of too slow in that too short timeline if that makes sense like the driving mechanics and all that but I think if you know that going in and you know that it's kind of a game about spending time driving and looking at scenery and like listening to the music on the radio and just like relaxing then you won't be disappointed if you if you try this one out. So this is only available on Windows right now. I finished it on stream. I loved it. I almost got a little bit emotional at the end. I did. The next game is Truber Brook. It is a beautiful kind of spooky looking stop motion art style game where you're a scientist living in Germany in like the 60s, I believe. And you're in this remote village. There's puzzles to solve, mysteries to uncover. And it's a pretty quick one. So you could probably finish it in like a night or two. The animation style reminds me of Coraline, which I love for the fall spooky season. And it's a little bit spooky just in the vibes, but it doesn't kind of lean into horror. So it's good for those who just want to like a little bit of a spooky vibe for October. Trooper Book is available on Windows, Mac, and Switch. The next is Hoko Life. And this is early access right now, Windows only. And it is a farming sim that is just a joy. Think farming sim mixed with Animal Crossing. And since it's early access, they're constantly adding new updates and improvements. There's so much customization available. So this is kind of if you're feeling a little bit tired of Animal Crossing, Try out Hoka Life. And again, I just think it's perfect for fall because it's cozy and cute and it's a farming sim. The next is Fun House. And this one, I, I'm literally like beaming because I can't help myself. It is one of my favorite games of probably 2022 even. The development behind this game is a one-man operation who made this for his partner because his partner liked bunnies and gardening and I think that's the cutest thing ever and then he realized maybe other people want to see it and so he, he's developing it out more now. Patrick the developer actually reached out to me and I was able to strain the beta and it was so much fun. My community and I had so much fun just like fangirling over this cute little bunny and everything that he could do. There's bunny yoga, there's fishing. You're in this perfect little picturesque corner of like a little forest tucked away. There's this beautiful greenhouse you can customize. There's plants and a plantopedia that tells you the specific amount of sun and water that each plant needs. And you have to make sure to keep watering those plants with their specific specifications and placing them in areas where the sun is the right amount of sun. It is so good and so satisfying. I just cannot wait to see this game develop. It's coming out October 19th on Windows only, and it's coming out on Switch, I think early 2022, the developer said. And the most amazing part of it is you can play local co-op. So 
you and your friend, you and your partner can get together, have a little bunny night, have a little bunny gardening night, and tend to your garden together. I think that is amazing. The next is lemon cake. So think a farming sim mixed with Diner Dash and you have lemon cake. It is the most fun and wholesome game with just the ultimate fall color palette. It's these beautiful yellows and, and oranges and browns and you manage the diner, you manage the kitchen so you do the cooking, but then you also have a greenhouse slash farm where you're growing the things that you're using for your recipes. If you like a little bit of like chaos and fast paced task management, this is the game for you. If you like kind of improvements, you can improve the cafe, you can improve tools you have, the greenhouse, you can get new recipes. And I think the combo of diner dash type and and farming sim is so unique and it's so rewarding to cook and serve with the things that you grew. And lemon cake is only available on Windows. The next is The Wild at Heart. This is definitely my favorite game of 2021 and I haven't even played that much of it to be honest. It just stuck with me, the story stuck with me, the gameplay stuck with me and the aesthetics of it stuck with me. In terms of mechanics and gameplay, it's kind of like a mixture of Luigi's Mansion 3 and Pikmin. So you gather these little forest creatures and kind of shoot them out to go attack things and help you get through obstacles. And the story behind it is you're this little boy who's venturing out of his home because he's had a rough home life and he's trying to just find something else and find peace in the forest. And you come across this order of forest creatures and you embark on journeys with them. The animation style is beautiful and the autumnal theme and colors of everything is beautiful. So it's very cozy in terms of aesthetics and it also has a heartwarming message which I think is peak all time. You know, get in hot cocoa, fuzzy blanket, and getting a little emotional with the sad story. The Wild at Heart is available on Windows and Mac right now. The next game is Stillness of the Wind. This is an indie game. And again, I have this on here because the aesthetics are so autumnal. It just pushes you right into a fall feeling with these beautiful, orange and yellow colorscapes. It's an adventure game, really story-based, where you are the last person in this town. All of your friends and family have moved out, and so you're kind of doing daily tasks to just get by by yourself in this tiny rural town. There's a backstory as well, where you're getting letters from the family members who left town for the city and are kind of sending you these distressing letters. So not only are the colors perfect for fall, but there's also kind of a somber, a little bit mysterious, spooky story going on in the background. Stillness the Wind is available on Windows, Mac, and Switch. The next is Franbo, which if you know Little Misfortune, you know Franbo. It's by the same makers and it's in the same universe. And everybody who recommends Little Misfortune says play Franbo first because it will give you the proper context for Little Misfortune. I didn't, but I'm letting you all know in case you haven't played Little Misfortune yet. So Franbo is a little bit more creepy and leans a little bit more into horror than Little Misfortune does. It's a very unsettling point and click about a a little girl who's been through a lot. Like I can't even talk about it. <laughs> I don't even want to spoil anything. She's been through a lot. You solve puzzles, you interact with the world around you, and the animation style similar to Little Misfortune is so unique and cool and kind of this like almost paper-like animation style. I just think it's really cool and unique. So if you like Little Misfortune or Little Misfortune interests you, Franbo is like a step further in the spooky direction for fall. And Franbo is on Mac and Windows. The next is Magnificent Truffle Pig. This is a story-based game where you're helping a friend find a valuable item in the English countryside with your metal detector. And you're kind of at the vague direction of this friend. You don't really know why you're there. In, in like detail, you know it generally, but not really in detail. It's really beautiful. Beautiful. I'm putting this in the fall list because the scenery is just gorgeous, but also there's kind of like a mystery underlying the whole entire story. So beautiful scenery, but also a good story to keep you like pulled in. This is available on Windows and Switch. The next is Coffee Talk. And Coffee Talk is perfect for fall because what is more fall like than making a bunch of warm drinks for people? You are a barista in this fantasy world where you're serving all of these different 
different kinds of creatures and elves and humans and you're listening to their stories you're you're customizing their coffees, you're making their coffees to order, and you're hearing everything that they've been through. There's also a mode where you just make the drinks and you don't have to talk to people. So if you just find the drink making calming and cozy and fall-like, then you can try that out too. This is available on Windows, Mac, and Switch. And the last is a bonus one. This is number 11. It is East Shade. In East Shade, you're a traveling painter and you're exploring this island of East Shade. You talk to the people who live there, you learn about the background, the backstory, you can help out people. It's an open world adventure game kind of focusing on the adventure aspect of just like looking at the world around you. And I think that's just perfect for fall because it's beautiful scenery. You can stop and paint little sceneries and then you offer the paintings to locals for different things that you need or just to hear stories, things like that. Okay, those are all of the cozy computer games for fall. And if you're new to gaming on the PC or your computer, you can find all of these games on Steam, which is just a program you can download and buy games and play the games. And if you don't have a gaming PC yet, maybe you just have a Mac, um, yeah, this is your sign to get one. This is your sign. It improved my life a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I have all my socials below if you want to check out other things. I do a lot on TikTok. I stream and I have a lot of pictures on Instagram <laughs> that are perfect for the fall mood. Go check that out. Thank you so much. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye! <laughs>